What's up guys, Chris here, back again with another video on the channel. In today's video, as you can see on the top left corner, I do have 11 million coins. This was a highly requested video, and I wanted to show you guys the step-by-step -step process that I took with my account to get to 10 million coins so far in FIFA 21. This is going to be a video compromised of low budget filters, low budget methods, mid tier methods and high tier methods towards the later end of the video. So let's get into it before we get into anything. Actually, sorry, just to say this real quick. Every method that I talk about in this video is a video in itself on the YouTube channel already. So if there's something that in this video you don't understand, go and browse the youtube channel because it will explain it better there i'm not trying to make a 25 minute video for you guys i want to keep it short i want to keep it clean and i hopefully you guys can understand some of these methods that i'm talking about and if you don't then go to some of these other videos because on the youtube channel because they can help you out a little bit better i explain things better in those videos so let's get into it right now um make sure you guys do drop a like on the video subscribe if you're new around here and get involved with all of the socials in the description i have a free training discord that gives you guys a lot of these filters and methods that i do on a daily basis so first thing you obviously look at doing is obviously starting your account like any account you get your welcome backpacks you get some coins by selling every single card in the pack uh and you're coming out with anywhere between five to like ten I came out with, I think, like 10 to 15K this year because they were pretty generous with some of the the packs we got back. Um, so it allowed me to kind of craft these packs a little bit easier, um, you know, be, being able to do the SBC. Uh, if you want to, like, accumulate coins on a lower budget, this is what I did. I did a lot of silver trading uh, at the start of the year. And, for example, if you look, every single top five league, a silver is going to be worth a certain amount the cheapest one on the market is going to be right there 400 coins and i could sell the card it looks like at i think 550 uh which is good because uh that's a couple hundred coins profit right there every single league you will have this league spcs are out and you also have the advanced spc solutions as to why certain cards are expensive in this game for silvers so you guys can do these little methods. I mean, this is a really good way to make coins on a lower budget. Silver trading, go to Syria, go to Bundesliga, go to La Liga. I mean, this is just the easiest way for me, especially because it's a no risk method as well. You're literally buying a card and you know, you know, it's a deal because the filter itself sets a price for you. And then you snipe underneath that price and then you sell for whatever the card is going for. Not what the filter determines. What the card goes for is what you should be listing up for on the market. You could do Prem, you could do Ligue 1, you can do La Liga, you can do Serie A, etc. You can do so many different ways uh, to make coins. You can go Silver Rare, you can look at the cheapest one. Now it looks like Silvers in uh, Ligue 1 are not good to do right now. Uh, they're getting mass listed for whatever t particular reason. But you can look at a uh, Serie A here, and the cheapest Serie A, like, rare is 450 So you can just snipe underneath that, and you can make coins for whatever they go for on the market. That's one low-budget way to make coins. Another low-budget way to make coins is doing low-budget sniping filters. And this, there's a method in my Discord uh, with a bunch of different low-budget methods you can do. But I can, like, get cr creative with it, right? I can go gold rare. And I can go league on center back, right? And I can just see, like, what are they going for on the market right now? Every league on center back is at least 1,100 coins on this game at the moment, uh, which is good because you could snipe at 700, 800, 900. And you can make a couple hundred coins a card by doing that on a lower budget. And the coins will just keep on accumulating. Like, the more cards you snipe on a lower budget, the more coins you'll just be getting every single minute that you're making, you know, buying cards. Uh, you can look at non rares. Right, so if you look at non-rares, they're currently up at like 600, 750. I can get creative though, right? I can go left mids uh, from Brazil, okay? And first, you always want to look at how many players are actually on this filter. We got Kennedy, this guy, Victor, right? We got three different Brazilian left mids. So we can just see what the cheapest one is. And it looks like the cheapest one is like 750 coins. So you can just snipe on the last card. And you can just try to make a couple hundred coins a card by doing that. Low budget slime filters will be in the Discord if you guys want to go take a look at that. Um, 
Another low budget method, which is also in the Discord, is chemistry style trading and position change method. Now, I'm gonna go to a guy like Rashika here. You can do this for any like gold card that has some sort of value for people to use them in their squads. Remember, a lot of people are still using cards this year, right? So if you look at Rashika on the market, he is currently at discard price. If you look at what the card goes for with a hunter, okay, he is currently on the market at 1800 coins. And before when I was doing this, he was like actually higher. He was like, or there was more listed at 1800. There was like five or six. He now has only one listed at 1800, which shows you that people do buy these cards. Why does this method work? You could snipe underneath this current price because people don't understand that the chem style or the position change on the card gives it more of a value than what the actual card's going for on the market. And why does this method work for selling to people? It's because when people are getting a card for their team, sometimes instead, uh, and right there is a perfect example right there, 750. When people are buying a card for their team, they're not really wanting to buy a card. Okay, I'm going to buy him as a striker or a center forward. I'm then going to buy the hunter chem style. They would just rather buy the card with the hunter with the position change already applied and it makes it a little bit easier for them to just go right into their games and try the card out and you can do this with a bunch of different players rashika's one manolas there's so many different low budget players to do this with it's just looking at the price difference and just sniping underneath it and these guys do come up um a lot on the market because the market's always like you know th there's cards always getting put up so I would look at this as a method to look at. Another method to look at, uh, in my opinion, that would be just probably all the low budget methods I would look at doing. Another thing that I was doing with a middle tier budget was the chemistry style method with um, specials. So right here is the filter that I use. And I'm not claiming to know any of these filters that, you know, I did not come up with any of these filters. I essentially saw some other people doing it and i applied it to my trading last year and you know that's there's no problem with that i mean 10 20 30 is a method that i think many people do and it's not one particular person that knows the method itself but what you do on this filter is you see how the filter that i put up here there is only there's zero cards listed above the hour which is good okay you can have one player listed above the hour or none okay that is what you can do to compare price snipe on this filter why does this filter work really well it's because a lot of people don't understand that when you put a card for a start price you don't really know how to list the card up on the market when you put a start price it just shows you that you don't know like what you're doing so you're more inclined to get a decent deal um on this filter so you look at that kamara there at forty-four thousand coins if i go and take a look at uh kamara right now on fuppin i'm not gonna just use this filter to like what the card is currently at which is forty-seven thousand coins i'm gonna see what this guy is going for over the day he went to 49k he went back to 51 down to 47 up again to 50.7 down to 48 back to 50 down to 46 up to 48 it looks like he's consistently being like 47 plus today on an average so his fluctuation isn't too crazy but if i see a 40k pop up if i see a 42 pop up i can buy that card with a shadow and i can make some decent coins on it luis alberto with a shadow i just need to go on fuppin and you need to know prices on these cards to be able to do this filter right he's currently forty-seven thousand coins um so i could technically make coins with it he hit a 49k earlier this morning he hit a 43 went back to 48 7 so he does fluctuate up to 48 uh i actually just missed that because i didn't know the price of the card this filter you have to know the prices of what these cards are selling at to be able to make coins with it if you don't know that i don't recommend this uh filter and this is what i did to make some coins kind of like when i had a mid-tier budget okay another really good method in my opinion is fluctuation special card trading how do i fluctuation trade with specials well I go and look at a guy like Zaha's Inform, okay? That is one card with a mid-tier budget that I can use as a standard, okay? This guy fluctuates, and why do cards fluctuate in general? They fluctuate because they are no longer in packs, and sometimes they're supplied too many times on an hourly 
from people that are listing them onto the market and there's not enough buying power in the market during that time and then there's going to be another hour of the day where they're rare and people are still buying them and that's what causes those cards to rise in that sense so i would look at this guy right here he was 157 earlier today down to 143 he goes back up to 150 but if you take advantage of the market sales history and you see this right here if let me just like refresh this real quick he was selling at 159 155 um multiple times right this is interesting to me i could probably get a 155 on this zaha uh, i'm pretty confident of that so you go onto the market you look at uh zaha right here and you just try to see what he's currently at so it looks like he's back up to 154. what you want to do here is you want to find like a 140 because you know you can flip them for around the mid low 150s to make you five six seven thousand coins and by doing this method more and more and more you you can just accumulate so many coins by fluctuation trading i did so much fluctuation trading over the last i'd say before thursday this week monday tuesday and wednesday we i just went crazy on fluctuations and we did very well um because these cards they fluctuate so much now that they're super rare they're out of packs for so many weeks this is a really good way to make coins you can use any special card uh and this method is on my youtube as well it's in the Dis discord as well um this method is really good it's how i started to learn trading in the first place i would really recommend you guys doing fluctuation trading another thing you can apply to specials is the 10 20 30 method how do you do 10 20 30 we just made a video on this you go 10 20 and 30 this also requires you to have fuppin open on the side and just learning what some of these guys are selling for at the moment and you want to base this method on fluctuations as well say for example this acerbi is on bid at at 13.5 right i want to go onto fuppin right now and i want to see what has acerbi been fluctuating to over the day so if i look at acerbi he was 14.7 up to 16.5 down to 15.5 up to 17.2 and he's actually at his highest point today at 17.5 so what you can do is say for example this guy is 14k he's on the low of its fluctuation he goes back to 17 getting on bids at 12 and a half or 13 or even 13.5 is a really good way to make coins on this filter because the person that you're bidding against most of the time is not going to understand that these cards could get sold at higher than what the price of the card is at that particular hour and that's where you have the advantage by looking at the flipping graphs a lot of people use this method but they only just check and see okay a serbi right there let's just go and take a look what a serbi is on the market right now with a team of the tournament and what they'll do is they'll just see like okay he is currently up on the market at 17 16.7 so i'm gonna bid up into a certain amount because this is what he's going for at the moment not knowing that you could probably sell this guy higher sometime during the day and that's and you can obviously probably get um lazy buyers on this stuff too you know even putting the car 500 over the current price or a thousand you'll probably get some lazy buyers on this so that's a really good way to make coins i'd say Another way to make coins efficiently, by the way, is something called Tech Avion. Tech Avion is a really good method to do after pack supply. Because what happens is meta gold cards, okay, if I go and show you guys, and I'm going to pull up my Discord real quick, just to kind of bring up this, uh, this Tech Avion list for you guys. But what I'm looking at is, I'm going to show you guys right now. I'm on light mode here. But actually, let's do that so this right here is the most used special cards in the game or most used gold cards in the game at the moment you look at fern lamendi you look at joe gomez uh you're looking at osmani dembele lucas uh nelson Samedo, right you're looking at all these cards what this still applies and people are still using these cards at this very moment you can uh you can pretty much uh tech avion trade with them tech avion what you look at doing is you look at the card and you try to see if it's low on the day so for example this for Mendy was 39.5 today he's now down at 37. so how would i make coins with tech avion i would look for this card with a shadow or a really really nice you know chem style on the card uh it could be an anchor it could be a shadow whatever the case may be 
and I'm just going to try to find like a, another 1,000 coin undercut. So you see right there with a the shadow, he's 39, 36,000 coins, right? That would be someone that I can relist at 39.5. I could probably make a good like 1.5k a card because he will sell for lazy buyers. Now you're also banking on a little bit of a rebound in cards. Okay, so that's why when you buy at 35, you could sell him for 38.5 or 39 you're making a couple thousand coins by doing this and you're just lazy listing these cards every single hour and they do sell trust me when i say this they all sell because they're the most used gold cards in the game they're still being used uh, at an efficient rate i'm gonna buy that right there i'm gonna relist it at uh 39.2 that right there is 3.2k it's probably about 2k tax I'm looking at 1.2k profit like that now say i bought freaking like 15 of them right and i spent a decent amount of money i'm making a good like 17,000 coins by buying 15 and it's a really good efficient way to make coins on like lower tier uh gold cards last method right here is going to show you guys the icon trading icon trading and by the way guys you can look at other youtube videos on my channel they explain more thoroughly how to do these methods uh, but icon trading is the last thing that I do. I do this on stream a lot. On the I do the web app and the companion app a lot off stream. But on stream, why I do this sort of filter that, by the way, I did not come up with. This filter works really well. Again, like the chem style method. Because what you're looking for is people that are like kind of dumb to put their cards up for an open bid. When you put your cards for open bid, I just know that you don't really know how to like list the card up on the market which makes it more more likely that they can put up a card for a decent price. So you look, look at Van Basten right here at 698. Uh, not a deal. Not every card on these filters will be deals. Let me just put a disclaimer out for you guys doing that. But I'm right now, what I'm trying to look at, is I'm trying to find a max price that is going to allow me to have one player over the hour so I can snipe on it. Right there, live drop at 124 start price. This filter is not like... You know 124 may work now but it might not work you know in a couple hours time from now what i'm looking at is i'm going to compare price on this last card and i'm going to see what these guys are going for as soon as possible like literally when i compare pricing on this as you can see the icon it gets put up right in front of me right so all i need to do to snipe the card is i i do like literally three movements i go and I'll do this one right here. I'm not going to snipe it, but I'm going to show you guys the next one that I do just to kind of briefly. I do that. Boom. That's three movements right there. Okay. Because it gets put up right away. And that's a sniping method kind of. That's kind of like showing you guys how to properly snipe cards, by the way, at a more efficient rate. Now, that's 160. I think that's a deal, by the way, um, for this gigs. I think he's at least like 180,000 coins. I could be wrong on that. There's a 175 let me look at gigs right now on fuppin and this is why you need to know what these cards are going for by the way gigs is currently 175 which was probably a decent deal actually he was selling 176 174 175 176 177 he's a 175 flip right so what i'm gonna do is because i got this at 160 because of this filter i'm gonna list mine i'm just gonna try to get a quick sale i'll go 174 how much coins is that that's about what like six thousand five thousand something like that um and that's what you do with a with a filter like this now icon training you could do on the companion and on the web app a lot faster okay and you have to know prices by the way to do icon trading you have to know prices where they're selling for like that gigs i bought a gigs at 160 because i knew that he was at least 170 okay and that is why i bought him now right now he's currently 165 so this guy is fluctuating at the moment. I'm putting these cards on my transfer targets. This is a really good way to watch where these cards are selling at. If you look at my transfer targets, everything that I'm looking at is cards that I like to trade with, right? Crespo on bid at 227, right? He's on bid at 230 right there. So he's a little bit higher at the moment than where he was maybe a little bit earlier today. I got to find a 210, a 215 to be able to make some coins on that card. These Bruno Fernandez cards, right? Extinct at the moment. It's just a good way to kind of familiarize yourself with certain cards on the market at the moment. Um, and that's why I like doing it. So if the gigs at 165 sells and 169 sells, well, I'm already in the clear. I'm already breaking even at minimum and making a little bit in the process if those two sell. So that's pretty much what I like to do. In terms of icon trading, some of like 
you got to come up with different filters. I have filters on my Discord as well. But um, you can go by different position. You can go defender, you can go midfielder, and you can go forward and use your budget. Uh, when there's pack supply, you can go the basic chem style. Okay. And you can also use the top nine nations as another filter as well. So, like, let me just demonstrate this really quickly to you guys. Right? You go Portugal, you go Icon. And then you just put your budget, let's say it's like 300k. And then you just, you go all the way to the 59 minute and you try to find like a really nice deal on whatever cards um, are popping up. And this is a good way for you to familiarize yourself with icon prices. Like Rui cost at 175, right? Maybe I find an 88 Rui cost at 200. That's a deal at 220, 230. So that's what you want to look at doing with icons. It's icons is the best high budget method in my opinion. Specials are up there as well because you do you can do specials with mid tier and high tier budget. But I hope this video helped you guys out. It's a long video, I know, but this is a video that is going to help you guys, and a lot of my other videos will help as well. What my process was to get to this point so far, and I will continue to do those so sort of methods again with those like chem style method and also the icon trading method for those filters you have to know prices before doing some of that stuff hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure you do drop a like subscribe if you're new right here and i'll talk to you guys in the video soon peace out